What's going on guys? So I know in some of my previous videos, I ranked some of the best sweatpants in different price ranges. But in today's video, I'll be switching it over to the top layer and rank six of the most affordable hoodies in order to decide what the best hoodie under $30 is. Similarly to the sweatpants videos, I'll be ranking each hoodie based off of four factors, price, fit, quality, and comfort, and then give my overall ranking of each of the hoodies at the end of the video. If you're curious about sizing, I'm 5'6 and usually wear a size small, but knowing that many people like to wear their hoodies oversized these days, I actually decided to buy most of my hoodies in a size small and a size medium to be as informative and objective as possible. So if you appreciate me spending the extra money and getting both sizes, be sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, let's get into the hoodies. Now the first hoodie that I have on this list is the Hanes Men's Pullover EcoSmart Fleece Hooded Sweatshirt. And this is in the light steel color. This hoodie comes in at a cost of $15.63, which actually makes it the second cheapest hoodie out of the six in this video. Now when it comes to the fit of these hoodies, I'll talk about the length and width of the hoodie, as well as the length of the sleeves. I will rate the fit based off of the size small since that is my standard size, but I will show the measurements and also a try-on clip of the size medium as well. So to get started, the length of this hoodie in a size small comes in at 25.5 inches, which for me sits around the mid crotch area, and I actually think that's a great length for a fitted hoodie. The chest measurement of this hoodie comes in at 20.5 inches, which gives it a pretty relaxed fit without being overly tight, which makes this hoodie a great layering piece. Now the sleeve length of this hoodie comes in at 24.5 inches, which puts it right around the middle in terms of sleeve length out of all the ones in this video. This should be a great length for the average person, however for a short Asian with short arms, this is a tad bit long for me. And then this hoodie also comes with an elastic waistband and ribbed wrist cuffs. And I do want to highlight the wrist cuffs because these are actually super snug compared to some of the other ones in this video. I actually like the super snug wrist cuffs because I hate when my sleeves constantly roll down my arms or my wrists. But overall, in terms of fit, I would actually put this hoodie second. Moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made from 50% cotton and 50% polyester. There are definitely some reviews that show small rips in this hoodie, especially if you get it caught on something. And so just keep in mind that durability can become an issue with this hoodie. But at this price point, I don't think that you can really expect high quality and durability. However, one good thing about this hoodie is that it's pill resistant and so you won't get that pilling even after many washes. And then when it comes to thickness, I would say that it's a medium weight and so it's great for the fall season or the winter season if you use it as a layering piece. But overall, when comparing the quality of this hoodie to all the other hoodies in this video, I would have to rank these last by a small margin. Now in terms of comfortability, I would have to rate this hoodie fifth. This hoodie does have some stretch, which definitely adds a level of comfort, but this hoodie doesn't have that soft plush feel that makes some hoodies really warm and comfortable. And so because of that reason, I had to rank it below some of the other hoodies in this video. Now the second hoodie that we have on this list is the Uniqlo Long Sleeve Hooded Sweatshirt. This hoodie comes in at a cost of $29.90, which actually makes it the most expensive hoodie out of the ones in this video. Looking at the fit, my initial thoughts are that this hoodie has a really relaxed contemporary fit. The length of this hoodie is also 25.5 inches, which makes it identical to the Hanes hoodie, which again is a great fit for me. The chest measurement is also identical to the Hanes hoodie at 20.5 inches, which for the average person allows for a pretty relaxed fit. It also includes a nice strong elastic waistband, which allows for better fitting since it avoids your hoodie looking like a tent. And then they also include the ribbed wrist cuffs. However, these wrist cuffs are a lot looser than the Hanes hoodie. And then the sleeve length of this hoodie measures in at 25 inches, which makes it slightly longer than the Hanes hoodie. Overall, I would rank this hoodie third in terms of fit. Now moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made from 100% cotton, which definitely is a lot nicer than a cotton polyester blend. The hoodie itself is actually pretty thick. I believe there's only one hoodie here that is actually thicker. And I prefer thicker hoodies because it makes the hoodie much more durable. On top of the thickness, there's also a good amount of stretch in this hoodie. And so you won't really have to worry about ripping or visible wear and tear in this hoodie. And so because of those reasons, I would have to rate this hoodie first in terms of quality. Lastly, speaking on the comfort level, this hoodie is extremely comfortable. Not only is the cotton material super soft, but the stretchiness of this fabric also allows for a full range of motion without any discomfort. Also, because this is one of the thicker hoodies, it will definitely keep you warm even in the winter months. And for those reasons, I would rate this hoodie first in terms of comfortability. 
Now, one thing I do want to mention about this hoodie that is different from all the other hoodies is that this hoodie doesn't have kangaroo pockets. Instead, it has two separate side pockets. I know for some that may be a downside, but for others, they don't really care. But I did want to point that out because it isn't really visible on your end. Next up, we have the Gilded Men's Heavy Blend Fleece Hooded Sweatshirt. This hoodie comes in at a ridiculously low price of $11, which definitely makes it the cheapest out of the six in this video. When judging the fit, this hoodie actually fits surprisingly well considering the price. The length of this hoodie in a size small comes in at 25 inches, which for me sits right above the crotch area, which is just slightly shorter than the Hanes and Uniqlo hoodies. In terms of the width, the chest measurement of this hoodie comes in at 20 inches, which makes it slightly slimmer than the previous two hoodies. And so if you want a fitted hoodie without being super snug, this would be a great option. Now the sleeve length of this hoodie comes in at 23 inches, which actually makes it the shortest out of the ones in this video. And for me, that is a great size. I would also say that this sleeve length would fit for the average person. However, if you are a person that has extremely long arms, then this sleeve length might be a tad bit short for you. And then the elastic waistband and ribbed wrist cuffs are nice and tight, enhancing the fit and feel of the hoodie. Overall, I would rank this hoodie first in terms of fit. Now moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made from 50% cotton and 50% polyester. This hoodie is a little bit thicker than the Hanes hoodie, but is thinner than the Uniqlo hoodie. The actual texture and feel of this hoodie is very similar to the Hanes hoodie, but this hoodie does have a little bit more fluff to it, which is why this hoodie is a little bit thicker. But overall, I would rank this hoodie fifth in terms of quality. Now speaking on the comfort level, again, this hoodie has a very similar feel to the Hanes hoodie in that it's soft and comfortable, but definitely doesn't reach that over-the-top comfort. I think because of the cheaper price, you don't really get that soft plush texture, which would have definitely made this hoodie even more comfortable. But overall, I would rate this hoodie third in terms of comfort. Now fourth up, we have the Champion Men's Power Blend Pullover Hoodie. This hoodie comes in at a price of $21.60, which actually makes it the second most expensive out of the six in this video. Looking at the fit right off the bat, I can definitely say that this hoodie is a little bit bigger than the previous hoodies. The length of this hoodie comes in at 26.5 inches, which definitely makes it one of the longer hoodies in this video. If you are someone that likes your hoodies a little bit longer, or you're just a really tall person, then this would be a great option. Now looking at the width of this hoodie, the chest measurement of this hoodie comes in at 20.5 inches, which is identical to the Hanes and Uniqlo hoodies. But when looking at the sleeve length, you can definitely tell that these sleeves are a little bit longer and measure at 26 inches. This length is a little bit long for me, as you can see with the bunching up in the wrist area. But if you are someone with longer arms and oftentimes have trouble finding hoodies with sleeves that aren't too short, then these may be a hoodie to consider. Looking at the elastic waistband and wrist cuff, I would say that these are a little bit looser than the Hanes hoodie, but still a little bit tighter than the Golden hoodie. Overall, I would rank this hoodie fifth in terms of fit. Moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made from 50% cotton and 50% polyester. I would say the thickness of this hoodie is very similar to the Uniqlo hoodie, as it is one of the thicker hoodies in this video. In terms of the quality though, the cotton used in this hoodie definitely seems to be more durable and heavier than the cotton used in the Hanes hoodie and the Gildan hoodie. As a result, I would rank this hoodie second in terms of quality. Moving on to the comfortability, this hoodie has a brushed cotton feel in the inside, making it one of the softer and more comfortable hoodies on this list. This hoodie also has a nice flexible feel which is essential for comfortable hoodies. And so as a result, I would rate this hoodie second in terms of comfort. Now fifth up, we have the Amazon Essentials Fleece Hooded Sweatshirt. This hoodie comes in at a cost of $17.50, which makes it the third cheapest option. Looking at the fit, these are definitely the slimmest fitting option with a chest measurement of 19.75 inches. After putting these on, the slimmer fit is definitely noticeable in the chest area as well as the arms area, as there is much less bagginess in the arms. In terms of the length, this hoodie measured in at 26.5 inches, which is identical to the Champion hoodie which is definitely still a little long for me. And then the sleeve length is also a little bit longer than some of the other hoodies and measures at 26.5 inches. So again, if you are someone with longer arms, then these might be a great option. Now, even though earlier I mentioned that this hoodie has a slimmer fit, the elastic waistband and wrist cuffs are actually pretty loose. I wouldn't say that they have much functionality, but definitely helps improve the look of the hoodie. Overall though, I would rank this hoodie last in terms of fit. Now moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made of 52% cotton and 48% polyester. 
In terms of the thickness, this hoodie sits right in the middle as it is slightly thicker than the Gildan and Haynes hoodie, but is a little bit thinner than the Champion and Uniqlo hoodies. In addition, the stitching on this hoodie is triple stitched, which definitely adds a level of durability and stability to the seams, which will limit the wear and tear on this hoodie. Overall, I would rank this hoodie fourth in terms of quality. Speaking on the comfortability, this hoodie has a very similar texture to some of the other hoodies mentioned in this video. However, one thing I will say is that due to the slimmer fit, it was a little bit uncomfortable for me in the chest area, as I wasn't really able to have a full range of motion without any discomfort. For skinnier guys, I don't think that this would really be an issue. However, for the average guy, or if you're a little bit bulkier, then this may be an issue. And so for that reason, I would have to rank this hoodie last in terms of comfortability. Now, last but not least, we have another Hanes hoodie, but this one is the ultimate heavyweight pullover hoodie. And this hoodie comes in at a cost of $21.35, which actually makes it the third most expensive out of the ones in this video. Judging the fit, this hoodie is the longest of the bunch and measures in at 27 inches. But in terms of the width, this hoodie comes with a chest measurement of 20.5 inches, which is identical to the other Hanes hoodie. However, I would say that these look a little baggier because they are substantially thicker. Now the sleeve length of this hoodie measures in at 23.5 inches, which definitely makes it one of the shorter sleeved hoodies out of the ones in this video. But overall, I would rate this hoodie fourth in terms of fit. Moving on to the quality, this hoodie is made of 65% cotton and 35% polyester. Because this is a heavyweight hoodie, this is definitely the thickest out of the ones in this video. They use a higher stretch density cotton fabric and as a result are less prone to ripping and shrinking. As a result, I would rate this hoodie third in terms of quality. Lastly, when judging the comfortability, the heavier weight in this hoodie definitely makes this hoodie a little bit more comfortable than the other Hanes hoodie. However, this hoodie also doesn't have a soft plush feel and so I would have to rank it fourth in terms of comfortability. So with all that being said, let's get into my final rankings of each of the hoodies. Coming in 6th place, we have the Amazon Essentials hoodie. While this hoodie is by no means a bad hoodie because they have great reviews on Amazon, I personally had to rank this last out of the ones in this video because the fit was a little too tight for me and so it was a little bit uncomfortable. And also the sleeves were a little bit too long for me. Now finishing in 5th place, we have the Hanes Ultimate Heavyweight hoodie. This hoodie is a great option if you want a cheaper yet still pretty heavy sweatshirt. Unfortunately, because the fit or price wasn't at the top of the list, I had to rank this hoodie behind some of the other ones. Now finishing in 4th place, we have the Hanes Pullover EcoSmart Fleece hoodie. This hoodie has a lot of similarities to the previous Hanes hoodie, except that it's just a little bit thinner. However, the thing that put this hoodie above the other Hanes hoodie is that it had a better fit and was cheaper. Now finishing in the top 3, we have the Champion Men's Power Blend Fleece hoodie. The quality and comfort of this hoodie is definitely right up there with the best, but the only reason that this hoodie finished third was that the fit of this hoodie wasn't the best for my body type. Now finishing as a runner up, we have the Uniqlo Long Sleeve Hooded Sweatshirt. The quality and comfort of this hoodie is sensational, which makes it one of the hoodies that you should definitely consider. However, if you wanted an extremely affordable hoodie, there is just one that couldn't be beat. Finishing as the best hoodie under $30, in my opinion, is the Gildan Fleece Hoodie. The ridiculously low price of this hoodie along with the great fit makes this hoodie the best affordable hoodie in my opinion. Now that's all that I have for you guys in this video. If you liked the video or found it informative, be sure to smash the like button. And if you love the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I post content similar to this every week. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.